Trappers, Moose here. So, in this episode, I'm going to be, um, it's really quick, I'm just going to show you how to make what is, uh, by a lot of people, consider the gold standard for a testing solution for people who do gold recovery. Uh, it's a stannous chloride solution. It's really easy to make. Um, all you need is tin and hydrochloric acid. Um, some people use uh, solder that has tin in it. I haven't been able to find solder that has a high enough amount of tin. You're looking for like 98% tin, 2% antimony is usually what it is. Um, <clears throat> so what I do is I buy 99.9% um, .9 tin um, on eBay. This is literally like $2 an ounce. Um, and this will last a long time. So what you want to do is measure out 2 grams and put it in a beaker with 30 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, 31.45%. Um, and you're going to need to, when you pour it in, you should start to see a little bit of bubbling action. And if you don't, you may want to heat it up a little bit just until they start bubbling and then take it off the heat. Um, and then just wait until all of the, um, the tin dissolves you want to make sure that you don't put that in a sealed container while you're waiting for it to dissolve because uh, gases are being created and it will pop. So I'm putting this in the beaker for now to let it, um, let it dissolve and I'm going to loosely cover it uh, for now. And that's, that's pretty much it. So all you're going to do is, you know, once you have a solution you want to test, just take like a Q-tip and put a little bit of that solution on there. Um, like if you have you know, a chlorooric acid that you want to test, uh, which I know that has gold in it, so I'm not gonna well, actually. I will show you. Now this stuff is really potent. I should not be opening this inside, but. So I've got a little bit of that on my solution, uh, my Q-tip, and here is some stannous chloride that I made um, just a few days ago. Now keep in mind that this stuff has a shelf life. It only lasts uh, about a month or so. So only make it in small batches at a time, because so otherwise you're just going to lose it. Yeah. Uh, keep it in a cool, dark place. It'll last as long as possible. So now that you have the solution on here, you just want to take your dropper and put a little bit of stannous chloride and see how it changes color like that. That indicates the presence of gold, which is good. That's what you want. So, um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, write down here. If not, that's fine. See you on the next one. Hey scrappers, Moose here again. So, uh, yeah, I kind of uh, messed up my leg. So I'm not going to be making any videos for a couple months probably. At least until I can walk again, which will be nice. Uh, had a little incident with a patch of ice. We had a disagreement. Um, but as soon as I get back, we're going to scrap something fun. We're going to scrap those damn things. I'm so tired of crutches. And it's only been a week. <sighs> Alright, so I'm asking you guys to give me a hand here. Um, I'm kind of stuck. No scrapping metal, no eBay, no none of that stuff because it can barely hobble around for right now. Um, so if you wouldn't mind helping me out by watching as many videos as you can, um, just keep watching them. Um, yeah. So, thanks for all your support. My dog thanks you. And uh, see you in a couple months.